Good evening, guys. This is the Hot Toddy Show, hosted by Todd Starr. Tonight's topic will be Kevin Nash on Monday Night Raw. Now, here he is from Fun Boy Entertainment, Todd Starr. All right, guys. Hey, uh, Ricardo, you got that Fun Boy 69 Entertainment. Not Fun Boy Entertainment. I ain't a damn porn star person. All right, guys, as you can tell, i got a different chair in here, so it looks like I'm riding a bunk and bronco here. My other chair is over there uh, in my room. Trying to get comfortable here. All right. So, basically, um, tonight's Raw was Kevin Nash getting fired. That was probably the highlight of the show. Uh, there was a tag team match that went on. Um, I don't have to tell you guys what happened in that match, because you already know. Um, they're going to revamp the tag team. I'm sorry I keep screwing with this. It's a... Uh, Bothering me. Let's just take the thumb gun off. My hair's all screwed up, but who cares? Uh, I should have brushed it. Anyways, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to revitalize the uh, the whole tag team division, which is about time they're going to bring back good tag teams like, I guess, the Bushwhackers. And, um, I really like Demolition. They were a good tag team. I've said that more than once. Uh, you know, there was the Road Warriors. I think they should bring back shit like that. And But when tag teams come out, they need to come out at the same time. They're going to be called Air Boom. They need to do it. Miz and Hard Truth. Actually, you know the whole Hard Truth character. I really dig him. I dug him when he did the heel turn. Hard Truth is a great character. He's not being utilized right. But uh, you know, I enjoy it. He's comical. It's hard to almost make him a bad guy because he's so comical. But the big thing of the night was Kevin Nash. Tell me this isn't all you're going to do with Kevin Nash. Tell me Kevin Nash's biggest in-ring thing is that SummerSlam where he sticks the winner. Oh, my God. This has turned out they have botched this storyline up. They could have done so much with this storyline. And, oh, God, I'm just <laughs> keeping on my eyes. I just can't believe how much they've screwed this fucking storyline. And now they fired him. Here they tease us with NWO music. Is that the only music they could use for him? They run a story on WWE.com, because I can pull it up right now. Matter of fact, and they run it. Uh, matter of fact, let me pull it over here. I don't know if it's up, because I just got a message right here. But let me show you guys uh, while I'm in here on the mini. Oh, it's not here, but uh, let's just see what some other folks have thought about it. The people from WF, uh, WFK Wrestling Fans Corner. You know, they're talking about spoilers and elimination chambers and stuff. There's nothing really much there. Uh, let's check out Wrestling Extreme Club. Because I really like Wrestling Extreme Club. Uh, uh, Rick Rhodes, right? So, uh, what do you think uh, can make WWE or Impact better but still kid-friendly? Well, Rick, uh, what I think can make them better and still kid-friendly is writing. <laughs> um TNA or Impact is not really going for kids, but really the only thing that can make Impact better is go live, okay? Uh, really, WWE is not designed for kids. Wrestling is not designed for, like, little kids. It just grew that way. It's really more for, like, your young teenagers. And I figure by the time the kid's 13 in the Internet age that we live in, they've seen and heard most things because porn is everywhere. Uh, I don't really think that it's too bad if it gets to the point where people think they should watch it. You know, they need to watch it with their kids, first and foremost. But Impact's only going to succeed if they go live. Let's see if there's anybody else on here who has a question I can read. Uh, there's no one there. I don't want to see uh, calling all members. No one. Um, basically, it's all going to be the, you know, uh, the same thing. Let's go to my wrestling debate. Uh, no, they ain't gonna rockers. Uh, anyways, that's just it. I just can't believe it. You know, you fucking, you fire Kevin Nash. You, you make us think NWO's coming back. And it's fucking bullshit, guys, man. Uh, basically, uh, I just had to read that question because, uh, you know, I had to ponder this. Uh, could this be a rouge by the WWE or are they just that big of a fuck up, man? That's my question to you guys. So basically, uh, that's going to be the video because I really didn't know what to do because this Raw sucked ass. And I know there's going to be people out there that says, oh, this is a great Raw. But honestly, no, it wasn't. 
there was nothing, ex I did not get excited about anything except for Kevin Nash. You know, the Nash ain't there, I'm not excited no more. You know, I'm not the only one. Yeah, he's an old guy, but who cares? I thought we were going to get to see the great NWO come back, but I was interested. I was kind of curious to see how they were going to do this. You know, I wasn't going to rip it. I was actually getting ready to buy some merchandise, NWO merchandise. I was like, hell yeah. You know, the comeback, you know, how are they going to do this? You know, one guy said, you know, have Hall and all of them come back, but just let them older guys do mic work. Let them be like the managers of the group, which is a cool idea. And let some of the younger guys do wrestling, you know, or hell, you can even bring back the original guys. Paul White's there, big show, you can put him in, you can put Booker T in. You know, have the four horsemen done it for years. Why can't the NWO come back, you know? It's better than the core and stuff, but other than that, that's all i got to say about this. What is your thoughts on the NWO? Remember, you can go on my channel down below here and scry uh, hit that uh, button down there that takes you to my Facebook like page, which is uh, the real Todd Star, or you can go to Todd Star on Facebook and friend me. Um, let's see, what else is there? There's such a whole slew of stuff. Follow me on Twitter at the real Todd Star, or just better yet, subscribe to my channel friend to my channel, whatever, I uh, will send you these videos when I can remember it. Other than that, you'll just have to keep your notifications checked. And as always, I'm Todd Star, known as I Toddy, and I'm out. Peace. Remember, if you don't subscribe to my show, I'll send the game to your house to hit you with the pedigree.